Hello, my name is Jake Hamilton, and I just want to talk to you about the importance of worship. First of all, worship does not begin here or here. Worship begins here. And it's a lifestyle that any of us can live out. You don't have to have a great voice or be, be able to play an instrument at all. Um, one of the best stories that I see in scripture is Mary and Martha. You have Martha who has a job description. She's working for God and that's great and wonderful, but she's in the kitchen while her sister is sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to every word that comes out of his mouth. And I don't know if there's a better picture of worship in all of scripture. She's not asking Jesus questions. She's not trying to have a dialogue. She is silent at the feet of Jesus, listening to every word that comes out of his mouth. In fact, we see how that lifestyle of worship plays out into miracles and signs and wonders just a little bit later in scripture. We have Mary and Martha who lose their brother Lazarus. Lazarus is dead, Jesus shows up, Martha runs up first and says, Lord, if you were here, my brother wouldn't have died. And he says, 
you know that I am the resurrection and the life, right? And she goes, well, I know that in the end, he will rise again. I know that in the end, he'll be alive again. And Jesus says, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Go get your sister. So she goes, gets Mary. Mary runs up and prays, says the exact same prayer as Martha. Lord, if you were here, my brother would not have died. And this time, the response is completely different. When you have a lifestyle of intimacy and worship with Jesus, the response of heaven becomes completely different. This time it says two words, Jesus wept. You guys, it's the most beautiful picture we have. When someone has a life of intimacy and worship with Jesus, we see that the response from heaven becomes completely different. And after he weeps, it says this, Jesus said, take me to the tomb. He walks to the tomb, resurrection power hits Lazarus and we see a resurrection happen. You guys, a lifestyle of worship is not about this. It's not about this. Honestly, it's primarily about this and about this. Because when we hear him and we know what he's saying, we can do what he's doing and our hearts can be transformed into his likeness as we spend time with him. Go spend time with him today. Start spending time at his feet and watch the world around you transform in a lifestyle of worship. You build your kingdom here, let the darkness fear. Show your mighty hand, heal our streets and land. Set your church on fire, win this nation back. Change the atmosphere, build your kingdom here, we pray. Come set the rule and reign, in our hearts again.